everybody so I hope everyone's having a great Valentine's Day and I'm going to go ahead and do a haul this is basically a chinchilla haul uh, if you watched my last video then you will know that Scooter the chinchilla is staying with us from now on I will be doing um, like random chinchilla videos but primarily uh, my channel is going to stay all rat related but um, I did have a few people asking questions about him so I have been working with a rescue who is about an hour away from us on getting him a buddy. And today we went ahead and picked up his buddy and I will be posting a cage tour right after this haul. But, um, and then you can see his partner in that video. But I did want to go ahead and show you guys what I got because his cage was um, pretty basic and had a lot of plastic in it. And he was just lonely, and so I figured we could go ahead and improve his quality of life. My friend um, took, you know, good care of him. He wasn't abused or anything, but um, I just figured we could go ahead and make his life just a little better with having more wood in the cage and getting rid of some of the plastic stuff. And so I'll go ahead and go over what I got. A lot of the stuff I got from the rescue's actual house. She makes a lot of stuff for chinchillas. I will go ahead and post her website below in the description. She has a ton of stuff. And um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. The first things are these ledges. So this one here is um, a lounging ledge, I think. And it was eight inches. And I got two of these to put in the cage. And you see they just have the um, stuff on the back to attach it. And then I went ahead and got a longer one here, and it's the same. And I got two of these as well, and these were from her website. I think this one was $10, and then the other one was $7.50, so it's a pretty good price when it's something that I know you could probably make yourself, but it's just kind of a pain. Time is money, right? So next thing is this really, really cute... Um, little house thing. She calls it a wigwam and it's actually pretty big. Um, when I saw it on her website I thought it was small but um, it's actually pretty big and it's decent so you know both of them can fit in there totally comfortably. The next thing this just was a random care pack with some of the stuff that she sells um, I ended up buying some of the stuff myself. This was um, with the adoption package with getting um, Scooter's friend. So it's got some wood and some alfalfa cubes, some rose hips and pumice and uh, loofah and stuff like that. So the next thing was two big bags of alfalfa cubes. I had gotten this one not realizing that she was going to be giving me this one for the adoption. So now I have a lot extra. And the same goes for the food. Um, I didn't know she was going to be giving me this bag with the adoption fee. And I had purchased this big bag of food as well. Um, I can't remember which food this is. I think it's the Purina and maybe... Uh, that show rabbit food, but I'm not sure. I'll post it below in the description if anyone's curious. And then the next thing was these probiotic cookie treats. Um, I don't know, I just saw them on her site and thought that they would like them, so I got these. And I hope you guys can see in here, this is the next thing. And it was, um, I think, a pound or two of random wood. She's got all different kinds in here. Everything from um, mulberry and some fruit ones and all kinds of stuff. Walnut, apricot, and fig, I think. And So yeah, they'll definitely like those. And then the next thing was a bag of rose hips. Um, all chinchillas like rose hips, and you can also crush them up. But yeah, this is a pretty big bag. Next thing is her supplement. She makes this herself. I really have no idea what's in here. I might try to figure it out and kind of make it myself, but I'm not really sure. Um, since she is an hour away from me, 
if I'm in that area, I can always go pick it up, but um, it looks like it's oats and crushed rose hips, and I don't know. I'll have to try to figure that out. And then we have a homemade toy of hers called a chinchilada, and it's got all kinds of herbs, grass in here with some dried flowers, and then this is a loofah, and then she tied it together with some twine, so I thought this was super cute. And then this is also a homemade toy that she had that I got, and it just has a little hook to hang it from the cage. And this is another one that's homemade. And this one is super cute and it's a little snowman and he's got a cute colorful scarf and he was really cute with his little hat and everything and he's actually a lot bigger than I thought he was because I mean as you can see here, you know, it's almost the size of my hand. And then I got this one from my local pet store. It's just one of the KT wooden houses to put in there since I had to remove his plastic stuff. And then I did make an order from wag.com and um, got some new chinchilla dust for him. This is the oxbow kind. And with that order, I got the Oxbow Botanical Hay. And this one actually smells really good, and Scooter really likes it. Um, I haven't given it to the other chinchilla yet because we literally just brought them home. Um, but it's got all kinds of stuff in it, and you can see in the top there, there's some flowers and some herbs and stuff. And then I also got this big bag of Western Timothy Hay from Oxbow. And this one is the 40 ounce one, and he really seems to like this hay as well. And I also went ahead and got some oat hay. He doesn't really seem to like this one as much, so I might just go ahead and mix it in with the Timothy hay instead of giving it to him separately. But, um, you know, I have it just in case. I also got some new fleece, so I got this cute um, blue and gray fleece, and this dark purple one. This one's actually going to be for the rats, so I'm about to clean their cage, and this will go in there. And I wanted to show you that I got a little hay bag from them from this guinea pig shop. It's called For Your Furry Kids, and she's on Etsy. I'll post her website and Etsy shop below. But um, this is the shop that I got it from, and this is the hay bag here. It's super cute. I actually ordered it before I got all the fleece, so I kind of forgot what the colors were, and it doesn't match at all, but that's okay. But it's just made of flannel, and inside is like a nice plain cotton. Um, but yeah, it's super cute, and I can just hang it from the cage from there. And then the last thing I got from the rescue was these scatter guards. And they're just made of wood, and they go right on top of the fleece pans. Um, you could use regular bedding in here if you wanted. Um, and then I got one for the top, too. So that's that. And then I also got some of these goji berries from Whole Foods. And I was kind of nervous about getting these because um, the price was listed like $29.99 a pound which I thought was kind of crazy, but um, so I just decided to get a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see in there. So I just got a little bit, and then I realized that they were pretty light. So if anyone wants to get goji berries somewhere, dried goji berries, a good place is Whole Foods. They ended up being like $3 for the bag once it was all weighed and everything. And then another thing that I got was this air purifier. Um, since there's going to be hay and dust around in the sunroom and I have the rats in the same room, I didn't want them to get kind of 
sniffly and sneezy with all of the new smells and the chinchilla dust. So I did go ahead and get this, I think it's like a Hamilton Beach um, air purifier that's right beside the chinchilla's cage. So I have that there and I got this off of Amazon. Okay, so that is it for my chinchilla haul. And um, I will be posting a cage tour like I said. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm always surprised when people request haul videos because I didn't think anybody would really like them. But I do get a lot of requests for them. And um, this is kind of extreme. I really don't buy this much stuff at once, but I really wanted to upgrade his cage and you know get him everything that he needed to be happy. But um, I will post all of the shops below and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.